HL Supply, coming back with another epic video. Today we're looking at the Still MS460, the Magnum, and we're going to do a quite necessary repair with the starter pulley. And we're going to take the cover off, and then we're going to replace the pulley, the spring, and the pull-off kit. So we'll get started by removing the four bolts that hold this in place. Just slide off. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the paw kit. And this is the clip that holds it in place. So you have to push it out and then you're gonna lift it up over the bolt. And once that's up, this moves, the clip is moved. And then your two paws can be removed. Next, we're going to remove the washer and then to prevent the spring from popping out, you're gonna create some slack with the rope. To do that, you wanna pull the rope a little bit and you're gonna slide it off of the pulley. And now there's slack. Now that the spring is not wound tight, you can remove the pulley. Okay, next we're going to remove the spring. You may want to place your fingers on it to prevent it from popping you. Nice and easy. The spring removed. To remove the rope from the pulley, we're gonna start here and remove this knot. And what I'm doing right now is I'm going to remove the rope from the pulley just by pulling it through here. Our next step is gonna be installing the new spring. This is a highway brand and we'll remove it from the package. And what you wanna do is make sure that the spring stays in its holder, line it up, and then once it's in its proper place, you just want to push it in to its hold. Make sure that it is all the way down and flush with the sides, which we are. And we've got our new pulley and we're going to go ahead and install the rope now. And we'll get it through here, line it through here to our handle. You may use a lighter to go ahead and make the end of the rope where it's nice and smooth, where it's easier to push through the pulley. And now that the rope is there, we can push it through. And we're pulling. And you wanna make sure that the knot is flush inside of this little hole. Our next step is we're gonna put the rope through the hole in the starter. Pull it through. On your pulley, you wanna make sure that this indention here catches on the spring, which is gonna create your pull action. We wanna turn it a few times to make sure that it's on the spring good. We're golden. Our next step is we're going to put the pull kit back on. Replace the washer. Now that our two pawls are in, we've installed the washer. It's time to replace the clip. And it's going to slide. Make sure it's lined up. Okay, we've got the clips slid into the back groove and we're going to pull the front part of the clip nice and easy. And our paw kit is installed. And we're gonna test this by pulling the rope a few times to make sure that the paws extend out. See how they open up when the rope is pulled? Success. Next, we're going to go ahead and install the rope back into the handle. Insert through there, pull it, and you want to tie a knot right here at the end of the rope. Success. Next, we're going to pull the rope through enough to grip, and then we're going to pull it to adjust the tension.
And then after you've done that just a few times, you release. And you can see we've got a little extra, so we're just going to do the same thing again. And wrap it around. And now, nice and tight. Now that we have repaired our starter assembly, you are ready to go and cut some trees. As soon as it's put back on, there's just four bolts. Very simple to put back on. We appreciate you taking time to watch the video. If you enjoyed it, let's get some thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. And if you think of it, check out our website, hlsupply.com. This has been Bobby. Until next time.